Texas All-Star Wrestling Steve Stack here at ringside with the American Force who are going into the ring later today to meet the Japanese Force. But the Georgia Strongman is here. Miss Patty, she's back with the Golden Boy. Also, see, you'll see Jeff Gaylord of the San Antonio Bullswingers make his first appearance as he'll be teaming up with Tom Jones. Of course, the Russian takes on the Texan. Much, much more. The first match going into the ring in just about two minutes. American Force, Shawn Michaels, Paul Diamond. You're going into the ring today to meet the Japanese Force. Yes, Stephen, a formidable opponent they are, you know, Asian tag team champions. And we do respect their wrestling abilities. However, this name, the Japanese Force, it just, you know, eats away at us because we know we're the only force here. We're the only force in Texas. And we want to prove this to the people once and for all. So, Mr. Gayhart, Al Madrill, and please you find out for us if it's all right. We're willing to put our Texas Tag Team belt on the line today right here against their Asian Cup. And let's prove to the people once and for all who the only force in Texas is. That's pretty strong. I hope Gary Hart accepts it, John. I hope he does too, Steve. We made a few promises to the people. We got the belts back. And like Paul said, we are the only force in Texas. We proved what we can prove to the people. And now, the battle of the forces, the Japanese force and the American force, is going to come to a head on TV today. And we want to show the people we are the only force in Texas. The American force putting out the challenge. Will Gary Hart accept? We'll find out after this. Texas All-Star Wrestling will return to Waco at the Convention Center on Wednesday, December the 11th. We'll have a great lineup for you there in Waco. We'll tell you about that next week. Texas All-Star Wrestling in Fort Hood, Texas on Wednesday, December the 4th, 7.30 starting time. You'll see Chavo Guerrero, Big Bubba, team up against El Madrill and the Russian Korchenko. The Golden Boy will take on the Cowboy Scott Casey. The Japanese Force meets the American Force. Nick Kaniski will be there. Dale Beasy and more. Advanced tickets on sale at the ITT at Fiddler's Green and the NCOA Service Centers. And don't miss Texas All-Star Wrestling. Fort Hood, Texas, Wednesday, December the 4th, 7.30 at the Abrams Center. Big Bubba, stitches on top of your head. They came at the hands of Helm, the Drill, and Killer Brooks. That's right, Steve. Last time I had those two men in the ring, it took it open my head up with a lead pipe. Well, let me tell you something, Brooks. Let me tell you something, Madrill. The next time I get either one of you in the ring, and hopefully this time, because I have somebody to cover my back this time, and I'll be prepared for you. I'm going to inflict such pain, such agony on your body that you won't know what to do about it. You'll be afraid and rule the day that you ever met me in the ring. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when Big Bubba gets mad, and you've never really seen him mad, but Killer Brooks and Al Madrill, you better look out. Here they are. You know, I told Al Madrill, Bubba. I told Al in the dressing room. I said, this Big Bubba's not so bad. I said, we can beat him, Al. I said, it's going to be a lead pipe cinch. And it was, Bubba. Your head busted open, and you bled like everybody else. And I want to say one thing about you, Big Bubba. We don't have any reason in the world to be scared of you. You know, we just found out something through Gary Hart, that your real name is Marion Ottman. Can you believe that? Marion Ottman? No wonder they call you Big Bubba. Bye, Mary. We'll be seeing you shortly. Weather is an important. Gaylord, look at that. Gaylord takes the belt, throws him off to the ground, one hood. He comes in, he's got the other hood, he's rounds him down in the blue hood coat, and Gaylord is ready. He is indeed ready. Gay Gaylord, I believe I'm saying this correctly, he's already making a lot of fans here tonight on Texas All Star Wrestling. And you see the fire that this young man has. You know, that's a very, very important part of professional wrestling, Steve Sack. That fire and that burning desire to excel. Well, he can do that. He showed us right there. Also know that he just recently won a Texas Tough Man contest. And to win one of those, you have got to be... You've got to be diversified, to say the least, in any uh, type of fighting or defending yourself. Certainly. Jeff Gaylord. Takes the arm bar, puts the twist in it on the hood, and that's hood number two here. Want to remind all you youngsters, wherever Texas All-Star Wrestling is held, if you're under the age of 12, it's only $3 general admission. And Texas All-Star Wrestling in December, starting time 7.30, so that the kids can get home early and go to school. I said a, uh, two weeks ago, Steve, that I did decide to make my headquarters here Texas All-Star Wrestling because I can feel 
that this is going to be the new era, the new hotbed in all of professional wrestling, because you can see the name. Not only have I got the Russian, you know Kamala, and now the Zambui Express. 406 of all, oh, it's 406 pounds, and you talk about tenacious. This man, he doesn't know when to quit, but I can tell you, when you have to wrestle him, then you start quitting. Oh, look at this Gaylord. Gaylord has the hood up over his head, throws him down. Now you can tell this man spends a lot of time in the gym, but you can also tell that he is a great athlete. A lot of agility there, Steve Sachs. You know, it takes more than a lot of muscle and power. You've got to have that agility. And this man certainly, and there's Tom Jones. You know, I go back with Tom Jones a long way. I have a lot of differences with this young man, but you've got to give credit where credit is due. Tom Jones has been hanging in for some time, and he's still as powerful and good as he ever was. That he is. Tom Jones backed onto the rope by the hood. The hood whips him across the ring. Jones ducks underneath that one. Cross body lock. The hood is down. Here's a count by the referee, Fred Sinclair. It's only two. Texas All-Star Wrestling. Don't forget, later today, the American force gets the Japanese force, and we have not received word from Gary Hart yet whether he will take the challenge of the American force and have the Asian Cup put on the line as the Japanese force meets the well, Texas. There seems to be some question who the force is, who the force is in Texas All-Star Wrestling. Of course, you know, uh, one side claims, and the other side is claiming the title of being the force. But of course, you know, my sentiments on Japanese wrestlers, I think they are among the world's greatest competitors. Because to be a Japanese right oh, born. oh, yes, yes, yes. You claim they're superior. I certainly do, Steve Sack, because I've seen them train from the beginning when they were novice and beginners. And believe me, it is the most rigorous training that I have ever seen. Tom Jones kicks out from underneath the hood. Also, a great match lined up later today. The golden boy with fantasy in his corner. I'm sure she'll be there against the Georgia Strongman USA Junior Heavyweight Champion Dale Beasley. That ought to be a good what fight. What did I say two weeks ago about Dale Beasley? I had seen him before and uh, two weeks ago was my first opportunity in a year to see Dale Beasley and has this young man come along. You call him a Georgia Strongman. He can wrestle too. That he can. Tom Jones drugging it out with the hood and now here's the tag. In comes hood number one. He has the red mask on. That's the only way we can tell them apart. If they wear the same mask, you'd never know the difference. There's a slam on Jones. Referee Fred Sinclair gets the count, and Tom kicks out at two again. Two and a half, two and a half. You know, let's not forget Hacksaw Higgins. Right now, Hacksaw Higgins is in the Orient, and he's devising a new nerve hole that I won't disclose at the moment. But I can tell you this, Hacksaw Higgins will be a changed man because, you know, Devastation Incorporated is the most powerful organization of its kind in professional wrestling. Well, Devastation Incorporated coming up with a lot of big names that will be appearing here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. Jones's head slammed into the knee. Now, the other hood is tagged in. One hood holds, the other one hits. Finally, hood number two pulls Tom Jones out. Drops him down with that side sizzling almost close to that. But you've got to say that the Hoods do work as a team. They know how to wear their opposition down. And this is very, very important in wrestling, Steve. Very important. You work on one area, you keep continuing. It's relentless pounding on a particular area now. Almost one to again. Also, I'll tell you, fans, that coming to Texas, a lady referee, and you'll be seeing her soon. Uh, that should be really interesting. Of course, uh, you know, with women and liberation these days, we wouldn't have it in my country. You know, we wouldn't have it there. Well, we'll you know, women America. know that their place is in the home. Here comes Jones coming in after the hood. The hood moves out of the way. Jones is down for another two counts. Tom Jones, Jeff Gaylord against the hood. Here's the tag. In comes Hood and number two. He's going up onto the middle rope. He dies with that perfectly hammer legal. right across the chest. Second rope, that's perfectly legal. Yeah. One thing, uh, I had heard some rumors. My informants have told me about a deal that Gary Hart is coming up with soon. You know, there's no love lost between Hart and I. I know that. I think that's you why know you that. came to Texas. And I was really shocked 
And right now I'm dismayed because I really don't know for sure who the individual is. But I understand from my informants when it is revealed that it will shock the wrestling world. But that doesn't surprise me, Steve, because I know what Gary Hart is. And of course, I want Gary Hart and everybody associated, especially Al Madrill, to know that I'm going to be the kingpin around here. I guess that's why you moved your headquarters to Texas All-Star Wrestling that's San Antonio. That's right, Steve Sachs. And the people, when they see devastation, they see the finest. They may not like us, but that's not the name of the game. The name of the game is money, and when you're with a general, I don't tolerate losers, only winners. Now, as we check the official time on this, our 10-minute TV time limit about to expire as we're down to 9 minutes and 30 seconds, and these guys have been battling it out. It's been a tough fight. It's been an action-packed match from the beginning. A lot of Hip tossed by Jones. The hood kicks out. Jones is going over. He tags in. Jeff Gaylord, and listen to the crowd. This Jeff Gaylord is going to be a comer. But I can say one thing right now. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. It's going to take a lot more than being on the gridiron where you've got 10 others helping you. There's the official time sounding now, ladies and gentlemen. Time has expired. Look at Gaylord. He's not finished yet. He takes care of the hood. Oh, well, that's quite a debut for Jeff Gaylord and the San Antonio Gunslingers. It certainly is, Steve Sanks, but I like, like I said before, it's going to take more than uh, on the gridiron and his experiences. you got 10 others helping you there. You're on your own at ring, but I am impressed. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because we'll be back with Big Bubba right after this. This is a triple handicap match from Bandera, Texas, weighing 279 pounds, Bill Reske. And from Tyler, Texas, weighing 238 pounds, Jim Braun. And at 205 pounds, Al Gavigan. And their opponent from Huntington, West Virginia, Weighing 431 pounds, Big Bubba! Taking them on, Big Bubba's going to take on three guys here tonight. And Akbar, I don't know whether you can see the stitches in the top of the head of Big Bubba. He got that from a lead pipe that was laid on his head by Killer Brooks and Al Madrill down the valley this past week. Well, I'm told that Big Bubba did uh, taste his first defeat. Of course, uh, you know, uh, they, are, they have a saying in America, all is fair in love and war. Well, all is fair in wrestling, too. No matter how it was done, the man did suffer defeat. And you can't cry about that. You got to just stand up on your feet and keep coming. Oh, he, he is him down. Bill Ratsky gets knocked yeah. down. You know what? Bill at him again. Huh. Down he goes. You know, Bubba was going to go to the Olympics at one time. And of course, the games were canceled. But uh, Bubba was going to go in. Look at that. He was scheduled to be in the discus and the shot put. Well, you know, one must have, must believe that if he does beat three men tonight when his rematch comes, I'm sure that we'll be in terrific shape. He's uh, warm enough for Killer Brooks and uh, Al Madrill yeah. when he has to meet him in one night, uh, one on look one. Look at this one. Oh, right. Now, that's really something. Hey, beats two of them right there. Big Bubba wins it as he pins two men with a big slam. Of course, Bill Rusty was in. Big Bubba's going to make his way. Talk to Big Bubba, General. We'll be right back. All right. Bubba, that's a nice warm-up for Al Madrill and Killer Brooks. I know they're the ones who put those eight stitches in your head. Well, you see right here? I'm going to pay them back. They signed the contract. I'm going to show all the people how to handle bullies out there. I'm going to beat them one match after another. They're going down. Well, Big Bubba also know that your friends Chavo, Guerrero, Scott Casey, and American Force will make sure that they don't sneak out of that dressing room and take you on two-on-one -on again. That's right. No outside interference. All my friends are looking after me. So, Madrill, Brooks, you better watch yourself because I'm going to take care of both of you. Do you think that Gary Hart's appearance in the area has something to do with what's been happening to you? I have, I have a good mind. He, it's all his fault. I don't care who's behind it. I'm going to take care of business. Thank you very much, Big Bubba. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when 431 pounds gets mad, that's fighting man. Stay tuned because we'll be back.
mad, but I want to tell you fans and Al Madrill and Killer Brooks especially, when Big Bubba does get mad, I don't know that you two want to get in the ring with him, two on one, one on one, whatever, Scott, because the big man is 431 pounds. That's right. Well, you know, Bubba, I, I want to say this to you, that I apologize for, I feel responsible for your loss because if I had been run into that pole and slammed and beaten around and you had to take me back to that ring, at least I would have been out there to help you. But I know as a big man and that that you can take care of yourself, you know, and I, I realize that you want to prove to the people, even though this was your first loss, that it's no shame to lose. What it is a shame to do is to not come back and rectify that loss. And believe you me, people, this man means business. He never really knew what the word mean was until I got with him. I've been all over the world. I've wrestled guys like, I mean, big, big men. And I know what viciousness is. And Bubba, for some reason, has always been a good-natured young man. I think it was his upbringing. You know, he had a lot of love in his family, and it carried over to this man, and he feels that's the way it should be in this world. There should be a lot of friendliness and love. But there's a time and place for everything. And, Steve, I think that it's time for meanness now. Well, Big Bubba, as Scott said earlier, it was your first loss in professional wrestling here in Texas All-Star Wrestling. I know that hurts deep, but also that stitches in your head every time you look around you got to be reminded of those two big bullies as we'll call them that's right you know even though you say it was my first loss i don't consider two men in a lead pipe very much of an opponent and uh, i want to say also that i've learned more in the couple of months i've known scott case and i've learned in my whole career as an athlete and i want to tell all those children out there you know those guys are bullies and uh these stitches remind me of every time i look in the mirror the pain not only the pain but the the fact is, I feel guilty about what happened, but let me tell you, there's only one way to handle bullies, and that's to take it to them, and that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to take it to them any way they want, on their own ground. Well, Big Bubba, I know that you'd like to get them both in the ring at the same time, one-on-one, -on -one, make sure the other one doesn't interfere. And Scott, the possibility of you and Bubba may be teaming up again against those two. That's absolutely right, Steve. You know, you may think this is crazy, what I'm going to say is, but we have issued a challenge against Alma Drill and Killer Brooks, and I issued it to none other than the mouth of the South, Gary Hart. And I'm gonna say it here on this interview. Gary, we'll take your men on without any pay. We want them bad. Our payment is gonna be when we see you, your two men, Alma Drill and Killer Books, laying flat out in that ring, and we're standing over you. That'll be payment enough. If that doesn't get them out there, I don't think anything will. Probably you heard, Scott, uh, the payday, they can have it all. All you want is a little revenge. That's right, Steve. I've never wanted to hurt anybody in my whole wrestling career. I always look at this as a sport. But when I get those guys in the ring, there's nothing I want to do more than to just inflict pain on their body and make them hurt like they've ever Just feel the pain that they've done to me. Well, Scott, have you heard anything back from Gary Hart about the challenge? Well, he thought we were absolutely nuts, and I told him, I said, well, if we are, then we're the toughest two nuts you're ever going to see. So, Hart, you can get your henchmen, but I know how to bait a trap, too, because you've done something that nobody else has done in this world. You've made this man mad, and may God have mercy on Alma Drill and Killer Brooks' soul, because, brother, when it's over, it's over, and it's going to happen when we get with you guys. Big Bubba, I know all the youngsters out there, they, they love with you. They want to see you get even with these two. That's right. I don't care what it takes. I want all you kids out there to know I don't, I'm not doing this on purpose, but whatever it takes, I'm going to take and inflict so much pain on these guys. I want to show all you kids out there how to handle bully. You can't run away from a situation. You have to confront it and nip it in the bud. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The lead pipe knocking down, but can they do it one-on-one? -on -one? We'll wait and see. We'll tell you about that next We want to invite you over to Fort Hood, Texas, for Texas All-Star Wrestling on Wednesday, December the 4th, 7.30, starting time inside the Abrams Gym. It's a headlined by Chavo Guerrero and Big Bubba against El Madrill and the Russian Kerchenko and El Madrill and Kerchenko. If Bubba gets mad, you better look out. Also, the Golden Boy will take on the Cowboy Scott Casey, the Japanese force. They're the Asian Tag Team Champions up against the American force, a ninja demonstration. This man served two terms in Vietnam as a lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps. 
He'll show you what it's all about right there in Fort Hood. Other exciting matches, best tickets at the ITT at Fiddler's Green or the NCOA Service Centers. Mr. Gary Hart, the world's, uh, the United States' largest man, military installation, in Fort Hood, and you're bringing the Japanese force there. As I said to you when I arrived in San Antonio, Texas, big things were going to start to happen. And there's no better place than on a military installation to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that these guys have the right to call themselves the Japanese force. They have the right to call themselves the All-Asian Tag Team Champions. And they have the right to do whatever they want. And if they can't, the American Ninja can. Ladies and gentlemen, let's pick up the Texas Tag Team Champions, the American Force. You're right, Gary Hart. They do have a right to call themselves all Asian champions, but they have no right to call themselves the Force. We are the only force in America, and we're going to be at Fort Hood, and we know our military protects our country all the way around, and the American Force is going to keep Texas and America clean once and for all of all foreigners. Just a little uh, friendly encouragement, should I say friendly encouragement from fantasy? Uh, maybe that's safe to say. Uh, Boy, he pulls Golden out of there. Oh, this piece is really, really getting after it. Of course, the Golden Boys got to really, really start thinking now. You know, you have to think of that squared circle, too. Elbow knocks the Golden Boy down. Yeah, this could be it. Two count. All right. This is really a tremendous match. Here we go. DZ has him up. A nice slam. He dives in there with that fist. That That's may the be name of the game. You try to pin him, Steve. That's the name of the game. I thought he had him that time, but again, it was just a two count. Yeah. Coming soon to Texas All-Star Wrestling, Kamala Hacksaw Higgins down through the Express. Austin Idol is also on his way. Austin Idol. I'm certainly glad you mentioned that because... Uh, Wait a minute. Fantasy just tripped DZ. He just tripped Feezy, now the Golden Boy flies in there with a fist. The Golden Boy with another fist. Hennessy just reached in and tripped Feezy. Here goes Golden, he's bouncing off the rough ties in with a head. Oh, Feezy has got to be out. Feezy has got to be out. Here comes Golden now. He wants to punish him some more. He is going outside. What's he going to do? He's taking his time. He really is. He's he knows. I think that BZ is almost gone. Oh, he's going up on the top, the top rope. That's a lot of leverage. Here That's comes a the Harley points. Race Special. Oh, yes. Dies. Oh, he missed. BZ moves. He moves. Wait a minute. Who's this? It's the Midnight Cowgirl. The Midnight Cowgirl. Midnight Cowgirl. She has a lasso. She has lasso fantasy. She's going to tie her up to the ring pose. She's got her tied up. What's she getting? She's got some shears, some horse shears. My goodness, you don't think what I'm thinking, do you? She's going to try to oh, cut no. the hair. The bell is sounding. The midnight cowgirl's got some shears. She's got them turned on. She's going over. She's going to try to cut the hair of fantasy. The golden boy walks up and grabs the midnight cowgirl. He gets the midnight cowgirl out of there. Hey, hold on, General. We're going to get out of here. Fantasy is tied up. We're going to go down here and just see exactly what is going on. As Golden. Happens again. You are sleeping on the couch. I'm hey. tired of this happening. I'm so dirty. I'm dirty. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it starts quick as the Russian is in the ring with a Texas.
Russian. As a Russian. Oh, it's a Texas thing that changed. Just a moment. That body looks very, very familiar. You know, a while ago, I made the statement. I don't know who the Texan is, but now this body looks so, so familiar. His moves, his actions, just... Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm... Hey, the Texan is taking the chain. He is choking the Russian with his own chain. That's your Russian, Akbar. That's my Russian. Hey, I, I, I think, I think the, I've seen this wait, guy somewhere, I too. I know I've seen him somewhere. Wait just a minute. Something... Why would a man something. like this go under a mask? There's something funny going on here. I can tell you that right now. Why? Looking so familiar. Of course, the prep referee, uh, Fred Sinclair, he's got his hands full right now. Now the Russian. There he goes. Well, There's the chain. Oh, the Russian call. has got the chain. It goes right to the midsection I've, of the Texans. I've instructed the Russian under all costs to keep coming, keep coming. And that's the way you do it. Well, the Russian this is, is choking. be a regular chain match. It could be. It is right now. The referee, Fred Sinclair, gets knocked out of the way, but he comes right back after the Russian. Yeah. No way you're going to handle that 356 pounds. This other man's going to weigh around 300 pounds, too. Oh, certainly, certainly. That's the Texan. The Texan. And I've got my sneaking suspicions. You know, oh, you laid that one on the chin. rotten in Denmark somewhere here. I can tell you that right now. I can tell you that right now. That chain being pounded to the shoulder, to the head. Everywhere that the Texan can get it on the Russian. Oh, there goes the referee. Hey, I, this guy, this I don't know who he is. Something fishy or something. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just been in Wait, wait just a Hey, it's Bobby Duncan. Bobby Duncan, the man under the mask. Akbar. Bobby Duncan. Bobby Duncan. For his information and everybody on Texas All-Star Wrestling, nobody double-crosses me. If you want to hide, Duncan, I'll give you something to hide about, understand? From now on, it's going to be Devastation Incorporated, and I'm going to start with you, Duncan. Don't you ever hide your face and try to double-cross the general, because I'm one step ahead of everybody. Well, general Scandal, all right, Gorn, thank you for coming today. Next week, the American Ninja will be here. Also, the hitman, David Patterson, will team up with Jeff Gaylord of the San Antonio Gunslingers to take on the Japanese force, and we're going to take you to Fantasy and Golden's home and review them. Till then, Steve Sack saying so long for Texas All-Star Wrestling.